we are back with the new video of SOLIDWORKS surfacing course. If you are new and have not subscribed our channel, press the subscribe button. In this SOLIDWORKS surfacing course video, we are going to learn about the field surfaces. I will tell you about the constraint curves and the importance of field surfaces. In the previous videos, we have covered the topic of swept surface, lofted surface and boundary surface. I will provide the link in the description. You can watch all the videos from there. So we are going to make this shape. So as you can see, I have made this shape just with the field surface command. So I will show you the features in the property manager of field surface. So let's start. So first of all, I am going to make the base of this model. So just simply select this ellipse from here make the ellipse like this go to exit sketch and now i am simply going to use the extrude surface command for the base you can give the value like i have given it the value of 1.5 inch like this so now from here as you can see that our model is open from here and here so there are two methods you can fill this open surfaces if the model is plain like this one that this is a straight i can use planar surface like this okay and another method is the field surface so as you can see patches are surface within a boundary defined by edges sketches or curves use constraint curves to fill surfaces and adjust resolution control to improve surface finishes so constraint curves in the field surfaces is used to adjust the resolution control to improve surface finish so i am going to delete this plane surface and now i am going to use the field surface command so by using field surface you can simply select this loop or you can also right click on it and select open loop from here like this so you can see our surface has been made so from here you can mesh preview your surface or you can also enable the zebra strips to analyze the finishing of the surface so this is the property manager of field surface field surface command so this is the patch boundaries you have to select the edges or boundaries from here and this is the edge setting you can also select alternate face from here these are the three features you can use for the surface like i have used the contact surface feature from here and you can see the uh, surface is plain and now i am going to select the tangent so the surface is tangent to this edge as you can see you can also reverse this surface and you can see your surface is tangent and from the mesh preview you can also see how refined your mesh is so if i will select ok from here you can see how easily we have made the dome like shape just simply using field surface command so like this uh, you can also increase the mesh density to check out the profiles making this field surface feature so also you can enable the curvature combs that how your profile transition is going on like this so the next one is curvature curvature is more like the tangent so it is not affecting it much so you can also use the surface reverse surface command from here so let's see what are the constraint curves and how we can use it so again simply delete this feature now I am go simply going to the front plane from here, go to sketch. So in the lofted surfaces and boundary surfaces, you must have to make the profile coincident like this. So you can see that our profile will be coincident from here and also from here then your lofted surface and boundary surface feature will work. But in the field surface, the constraint curve will also work if you will not join the sketch. Okay, 
so like let me show you that if i am going to make the sketch like this so now from here you can see it is not connecting to any edge of this boundary and now go to exit sketch and go to surfaces select field surface command from here and now i can also use select this surface and select this curve so you can see this curve was not attached from any of the edge of this field surface but this was a constraint curve so it has made the profile all around this curve so this is the mainly use of this constraint curve if you want to make the your profile tangent you can also select tangent from here but in this case it is not working because the profile must be intersecting while i have given the uh, tangent command so i will select connect uh, contact from here for this type of body so if you want to make a new sketch like two constraint curves let's see how it works okay go to exit sketch now and again go to field surface command so now i will simply go to constraint curve first of all i am going to select this curve and secondly i am going to select this curve so as you can see the surface is so as you can see the surface is so much irregular but it has uh, select the constraint curve for the fill surface like this you can see so this is the purpose of fill surface you can use the constraint curves for the fill surface command and you can made uh, organic shapes like this where easily using fill surface feature so this was the tutorial on fill surface in the next tutorials we are going to learn about the trim or untrimmed surfaces so thank you for watching keep supporting and keep sharing our channel for more interesting videos